Courgette and goat's cheese are a match made in heaven, so I've paired these two together to make the most beautiful summer savoury scone. First up, with the Kenwood K-Mix fitted with the K-Beater, I'm adding in my dry ingredients. I am adding in my plain flour, baking powder, room temperature butter, pinch of salt, and mixing this until it reaches a sandy breadcrumb consistency. Now that this is mixed, I'm going to add in my remaining ingredients. I always push my mix to one side so my wet ingredients are at the bottom of the bowl. That just helps with mixing and ultimately stops your mix from over mixing. To this, I am adding the buttermilk, whole egg, chopped parsley, courgette, I'm using a beautiful goat's cheese today. This is lovely and firm in texture. If you are going to be using a goat's cheese, try and source a firm crumbly cheese as it doesn't soften up your mix. Um, alternatively, a lovely sharp cheddar works really well with this. My secret ingredient in these scones, pine nuts. They are so beautiful and add a gorgeous texture and also a nutty flavor, really, really delicious. And this is mixed until the dough comes together. At this point, when all the ingredients are added in the bowl, take care as in not to over mix. Just combine everything together and finish by hand on the table. Turn your scone mix out onto a lightly floured work surface. Roll out to approximately two fingers in thickness and using a six centimeter floured scone cutter, cut out 12 scones and pop these onto a lined baking tray. Egg wash the top of each scone and pop these into a preheated oven set at 180, 160 fan, and these will take approximately 25 to 30 minutes. Once the scones are baked, remove from the oven and pop onto a wire rack to cool completely before you tuck in. Once your scones have cooled completely, you can enjoy as is. They're also delicious toasted with a little bit of butter. Me personally, I love them with more goat's cheese. These are gorgeous for afternoon tea but they're also really delicious as a lunchbox treat. Time to tuck in.